Of a televised leaders debate between the four main parties is in the planning stages between broadcasters. We connect now with Kim Emerson, Omni BC uh, legislature reporter. And uh, do you do you think Christy Clark and Adrian Dix will go head to head in a one on one debate, Kim? Absolutely not. No. There's no way. Uh, there's no value in it for Adrian Dix. If you think about it, Adrian Dix invited Christy Clark to a one-on-one -on -one debate when the HST was the big topic of discussion. She flat out refused. There was no value in it for her at that point. There's no value in it for Adrian Dix at this point. The other thing that you've got to look at is this was an offer by one television broadcaster to the two what are perceived as main leaders of the biggest political parties. And there are already negotiations underway for a radio debate and a debate for all of the television stations to take part. And so it doesn't make any sense for Adrian Dix to take part in this. The other thing is, uh, if you look at the way things are in the polls right now, Christy Clark actually sits in third place amongst the leaders that the public likes. Jane Sturck of the Green Party is about 10 points ahead of Christy Clark. So it makes no sense for Adrian Dix to to have an engagement with her one-on-one, -on -one, I don't expect to see it. Interesting. Now, voters, Kim, head to the polls on May 14th. When does the election campaign officially get underway? Oh, it's been underway for a long time for the Liberal Party, and it's uh, essentially got underway in earnest yesterday for the NDP, but the campaign really gets underway on the 16th of this month. But I want to tell you something. There's no way that you have to wait until the 14th of May to go in and cast your ballot. Elections BC is trying to make this as easy as possible for people to get out and cast their vote. The main reason for that, only 51% of the electorate went out and voted the last time, and that may drop even more this time because all of the things that have gone on in politics over the last four years. But you can go out and vote any day you want after the writ is dropped on the 16th of this month. You may not have a full list of candidates because those won't be finalized until the week later, but but Elections BC has apps for your smartphone to show you where the closest place is. It's hooked up to GPS. It will guide you right to a location, and you can go in and vote any day you want. You don't have to wait till the last day. But if you do that, you are entitled to some time off of work to make sure you go in and vote. But if you do that every other day, your boss will catch on. Probably not a good idea. 51%, that's such a low number. So clearly yeah. wanting to fix voter apathy in terms of making accessibility the key. But how do these leaders win over voters and and get them inspired to get to the polls. Well, that's the biggest problem. And nobody really has figured that out over the last probably 20 years or more. People, for the most part, go out to vote against a party that they no longer like, not necessarily to vote for anybody. Nobody in the last 20 or more years has given the voters a real reason to say, hey, I want to get you excited about going out and being engaged in politics. This is a really cool thing. Everything that goes on in British Columbia goes through the legislature at one point or another. But they haven't found a way to do that, and that's why fewer and fewer people go out. And the more of the kinds of scandals that we've seen over the last several years, the more reason people go, oh, my goodness, that's politics. I want nothing to do with it. So yeah. they have to find a way. If anybody can actually find a way, they can get elected. Elizabeth May did that in the federal election. Uh, she was up against Gary Lunn, a very popular conservative uh, MP and cabinet minister. But she had her people on the ground. They worked really, really hard. They had a lot of people. They put a lot of money into it. She won the election. Anybody Everybody can do the same thing if you can get out and knock on enough doors and put out a positive enough message. Indeed. Kim Emerson, always such a wealth of information. We will look forward to speaking with you next week. Omni BC legislature reporter Kim Emerson. I want a round Thank of applause you. for you. Such great info. You can vote any day, just on, not every day, or your boss will get upset, Rusty. We want you here. In the ballot box. I like that. Some tips from Kim. Oh, very helpful ahead of election day. <laughs>